What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. The goal today is simple, to get this pure stock on the trailer and get it out of here. Y'all enjoy the video. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. You guys just seen, I finally got this hunk of junk out and my gosh, it is heavy. But I was able to do that, so now we are rear endless. But um, again, just like the last uh, shocks, I had to cut the bottoms off because there was no way them were spinning off. They were just rusted all out. And now the next thing to do is to remove these. You guys kind of seen that I've started on this, but I do not understand why these studs have to be so long because I have no um, deep weld socket long enough to go over this right here. But you can see these are on some kind of like sliders to like move the uh, leaf spring back and forth some. These are illegal, so I've got to take these off anyway and put the stock ones back on. I cannot have these adjustable rear ends like this. You okay? Yeah. Okay. But the next thing to do is to unbolt them upper shock mounts, drop them out and get these babies here off. And look at that. Woo. Get these babies off where I can get up there and get the fronts off. Then I just have to get some of this junk out of the way. And then, okay buddy. And then the next goal is to get this thing jacked up as high as I can where I can get it up on the trailer and get it backed in here. But. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Um, a lot of you have helped me in the last video, given me some awesome advice on what to do here. And actually I have some really cool news. Um, my buddy, Paul, he was watching the, the last video and he said, hey man, I have some stuff that you need. So we have some really awesome news moving forward with this pure stock. Um, just so you guys know, without telling you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you in a later video and uh, you're actually going to go with me and uh, see what we've got. But Paul has blessed us tremendously, but this is no longer needed. If that lets you guys know anything. So that is done. If anybody needs one of them for sale, make offer. Um, do not need that anymore. Um, everything as far as the stock rear end is now gone. So moving forward, um, like I said, I appreciate all of you guys giving me the advice. I was able to look up a bunch of stuff on Speedway and different things like that and uh, see some of the things I've needed. I've also reached out to Minnesota Dirt. Uh, real big help. They deal a lot with Weir's machine up there and uh, got in touch with them and they've helped me out tremendously. Billy and Charlie up there. So y'all go check Minnesota Dirt out. They're building some awesome modifiers right now and they're from my wife's hometown so or home state. So really cool to have a support system like you guys to be able to give me uh, encouragement, not only, not only encouragement, but also advice on what to do with this. As soon as I put out the last video, Mr. Steve called me. So I know I was doing something right. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I'm going to get to going. Uh, like I said, I got to get these hunk of junks off and uh, get these leaf springs off, get the shocks off and then start cleaning this thing out. 
hopefully to try to get it up on a trailer. So here we go. I don't know who in the world come up with this plan. I mean, I'm glad they welded them up here up top, but I don't know why in the world they have to be that long. Look at this. So in order to get there, I have to get it like down here because I can't get, these studs are bigger than my socket. So I don't know. I mean, is this something that I need? Can I just cut these lower to where they're down here? I mean, does it really need that much stud <laughs> on this choker? Seems like it's overkill to me and it's just pointless. I got eight of these to do, but once I get them down to right here so I can get this on there and it actually comes off, but I don't know why somebody felt like that was a good idea. So now that I'm looking at it though, it does look like this comes off. So if I take this off, this will come down. This side must just be bent. Yep, that's exactly what it is. I'm just not doing the right thing. <laughs> but these gotta come off anyway. So oh well, I'm just gonna keep going and uh, drop it like this. And then I'll take the leaf springs off with this all in one piece. So. All right, once I get this done, I'll come back and show you guys what I got. So I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is y'all saw I got that leaf spring off and I got the rear of this one. And the bad news is these three bolts that hold this in are all stripped and the heads are pretty much gone. So you know what that means? That means I'm gonna have to get under here real meticulously like and grind the heads of them off. But uh, the problem is, is th this one goes into the frame. So there's no nut on the back side. So that poses the question of how am I gonna mount these back when they're done? Also, you can see right here that I got a lovely bolt broke off in the top and the upper uh, shock mount. So there's another thing, but y'all check these out. How old are these total? Carrera confidence. No telling how old them are, but anyways, I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get that out. And I got the same thing on that side. One of the nut, uh, bolts broke, but the rear end's pretty much cleaned up. I do have to come and take this metal off, but all this is nice and solid. But I guess now the game plan is to try to get this jack stand moved, but in a spot moved further up and then I got to figure out how to get some kind of grinding wheel or rock or something to uh, tackle these. So this is something I didn't want to do, but with an old frame comes challenges. So all I can do is not complain and get to work. Well, that time lapse lasted about seven seconds because my Harbor Freight grinder became a hammer real quick. <laughs> but uh, we'd fast forward a few days later and you can see I've got the whole family. We're piled up in the truck. We got the gray trailer up uh, hooked up to the truck with the old Honda that we got the uh, motor out of. And we are now headed to the kiln. Kiln, Mississippi. We're about an hour and 10 minutes out because we have a really cool surprise. You guys probably noticed in the thumbnail that I said we got a new car and that's exactly what we're going to get. So my buddy Paul, who has been supporting our channel for a while, reached out in the last pier stock video and said, hey man, I've got a uh, old pier stock frame with a bunch of parts on it that you may want. And so we called and talked on the phone, worked out a deal. 
So we're going to head to uh, Kill, Mississippi and show you guys what we are going to get. So we'll see y'all there. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have made it to Paul's house. Excited to be here. He had everything ready to go for us whenever we got here. And uh, I told you guys, like in the thumbnail, I, we're coming to get a new car. New car. And uh, Paul has made it happen. So with that said, y'all check out my new ride for 2023. Here it is. There it is, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, this is the one, right? That this you're... is the one. This is the one that's going to go in the winter circle this year. With me in it or? Absolutely. Wait a minute. No, that's you. That's your car. No, it's your car. So this is the one I'm here to get? You sure? Price is always right. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't bring no cash with me. Well, we're brothers in Christ, aren't we? All right. All right. Well, guys, this is not <laughs> the car. <laughs> Paul's awesome. We're My gonna car. Get to that point, we're going to get to that point. My car, what we're here to pick up is a frame down there with a lot of awesome parts in it. Paul, tell me the story behind it in a nutshell, what happened with that frame before I go down there and show it to him. So actually that car was bought by my father, um, I think in March, and it was bought for him and my brother to race, but somehow I got through in the mix. And, uh, <laughs> like, like everybody. Like everybody <laughs> yeah. in the family. So I started uh, trying to drive it and on practice day at Outlaw last year on April the 9th. Uh, I got a little bit too serious. Didn't you send me the video? I did send I'll, you the video. Are you good if I throw Absolutely. it in? All right, here's the video, y'all check this out. What happened there? Like I so see, I got a little bit too hard into it. The drive, the track was slick. I was too new to the car, and she went a little high. And she, I flipped. smoked the wall at about sixty and rolled it three times. It was really that your good. first time in the car, or? first time in the car. So that car, so yeah, that's that's horrible. That's like me with the legend. It was your baby, yeah. and now from in a blink of an eye, she's gone. That's right. So we're gonna go down here in a minute, and I'll show you what he uh, has done. He has blessed us tremendously. And you guys may not be able to see it, but we got rid of the Honda over there because his daughter has this car to race at Outlaw. So I'm gonna do some work on this car for him and we're gonna kind of just switch it out. But in the meantime, what are we about to do? We're about to go drive it around, I think. <laughs> Paul is gracious enough to let me get in this bad boy right here and take it for a lap around the yard. I ain't even gonna give it no gas cause uh, my luck, I'll end up in a culvert or a ditch somewhere right there at the Legend car. But uh, here we go. Y'all check this out. I'm going to finally officially drive a pure stock. She's pretty fast. Oh, I can't wait. Here we go. Two pumps. Here goes nothing. Guys, dude, whenever this becomes a reality, you the first to drive my car. Right. How about that? Deal? I don't know if the seat's big enough. <laughs> we'll make it happen. <laughs> we'll put that seat in there. There you go. Dude, thank you so much. Absolutely. Because uh, that's my first time ever. I can officially say I've driven a pure stock. Well, you make sure you get videos from the 18th. Okay. Well, You'll get to set it on the track. Paul's saying that February 18th, 
if I come to practice, which I'm supposed to be there, if Ronnie Roberts doesn't uh, weasel out on his deal, because I'm supposed to make a few laps in a super late model. I heard. That's going to be the height of the day. If I don't make a lap in a super late model, maybe I'll make a lap in the pure stock at the end of the practice, not at the beginning, because go. he's got to do and get everything ready, and yes. then I'm going to go out and just, he's going to make sure everything's good for his right. season. But uh, let's go down here real quick and check out what he gave us, and then we're going to wrap this one up. So here is my car, or Paul's car, or Used to the donor car. <laughs> um, you guys, car. this is now the parts car, but you guys can see, maybe you can see on camera, this is supposed to be straight, and it ain't. So when he flipped over, there is the bar up top that you can see bent, and it shoved the whole right side over. But the cool part about this, oh my gosh, I'm about to leave without strapping that. This is a Ford 9-inch, is it floater? Yep, is that what it's called? Floater. He watched my video and said, Skylar, I got what you need. It's for a leaf spring car, so that's amazing. Uh, I needed a fuel cell, got a fuel cell. Needed the front end, got, got the, the front, front end. end. And the cool part about this is I am seeing I'm going to have to buy some studs. But the cool part about this is what Paul told me is this is that 5 on 5, yep. which will match what this is, is going to be, right? That's right. So the car that I have at the house is five on four and three quarters. And so Sea Dog, if you're watching this, I need you to send me all them rims that Steve Eden sent you because I need them now. But all this is uh, new. Y'all look at that. It moves like it's supposed to. <laughs> and this is cool that this side's all together because now I'll know how to, you know, That's put right. it all back together the right way. But this here is complete steering box, complete steering box power linkage. steering, linkage, quick steer, quick steer gauges. The whole nine yards trying to hook him up like a tow truck man you are such a blessing yes sir. such we a blessing be a blessing the most so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna call that a video here thank you guys for hanging out with me i know we were in the shop and we got the rear end pulled out i did run into a little bit of hiccup but i've got to go back to harbor freight and buy me another grinder for 12 dollars since my other one broke so that i can finish getting them rear spring buckets out and get it made it up to get ready for this but after that i'll be able to head to the sand blast now that everything's out and now that i was able to look at paul's car i can see that i can take a lot more out than i thought i could which will also be a, a, a very good thing for me because make it easier to work on. make it easier to work on that's exactly right so y'all be blessed thank you so much for watching today's video y'all leave a comment let me know what you think y'all give paul a shout out for uh, hooking us up we'll see you guys in the next one Oh, one last thing. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Good job. <laughs>